Okay, this sermon is entitled, Staying Rooted in God's Word. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 49 reads, Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Now, the reason why I've entitled this sermon Staying Rooted in God's Word is because I want to basically imply that we should have a, you know, a chronicity or a continuation of Bible reading in our lives, and not just a few short-lived sessions here and there. So, I want to focus on this subject of just staying rooted in God's Word and why it's so important. Let's start off with Psalm chapter 1. Let's take a look at the first three verses, and it reads... It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now, this is telling us that God's word is our spiritual sustenance. It's something we need on a daily basis. And we need it like we need any other type of, you know, comestible, you know, food items. We need it for just spiritual growth. And it tells us right here we can have true prosperity if we continue to get plugged into God's word. It's like kind of like recharging, you know, your spiritual batteries. Okay? You have to get into the word of God on a daily basis and it's important that we stay in the Word of God. Now, if you can't, you know, read the Bible all the time, you can at least memorize Bible verses, like when you're driving down the road or whatever, and just start quoting them. Or another way to get into God's Word would be listening to sermons. Okay? But the point is, is that we need God's Word all the time in order to grow. Let's take a look at a few more verses on this. Turn over to Psalm 92. Psalm 92. And let's take a look at verses 12 through 14, and it reads... Okay, it says, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in, in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the, in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Now, once again, we see this concept of you know, being planted in God's house. And it talks about flourishing. And it goes on to say in verse 14, They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. So the Bible tells us that we should be reading the Bible all the time, every single day, you know, on a routinely basis. And we shouldn't be content with just reading it for a few minutes. We need to stay plugged into God's Word. That's how we're going to flourish. That's how we're going to bring forth fruit. Now let's take a look at a couple more verses on this. Let's turn over to Psalm chapter 128, and the entire chapter basically bears this truth out. It says, Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Now, this is how you get blessed. Okay, what's the point of reading the Bible on a daily basis? The point of it is to get blessed by God. Okay, it goes on to say, in verse 5, The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. So if you want to be blessed continually by God, we need to get into his word. Now, of course, this sermon is only applicable to those that are saved. If you're not saved, you need to get saved by believing on Jesus Christ for salvation. The Bible says, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Once you believe on Jesus Christ alone, you're saved forever. And then after you're saved, God wants you to grow. The Bible says, Desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. And the key is to stay plugged into the word of God and to be rooted in the word of God and to read it all the time. And like I've already said, you can listen to sermons that are packed with verses. You can memorize it. You can um, just carry your Bible with you and just start reading it whenever you have, it, whenever you have some, some free time. The reason why this is so important is because God's Word has a, a changing effect on people. See, the unsaved person out there does not understand this. They think that the Bible's just, a, just an average, everyday, run-of-the-mill book, and the words, in, the words therein are just nuggatory and arbitrary. They have no meaning. They don't, they're just a bunch of fables and anecdotes and whatever. When in, in reality, the Word of God is alive. 
Let's take a look at two verses on that, then I'll close. Turn to John chapter 6. We see why this is so important in verse 63. And it reads, it says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. So, the Bible contains spiritual words, and it contains life. And then, of course, Hebrews chapter 4 gives us another verse that makes it clear why reading the Bible is so important. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12, and I'll close with this. It reads, for the word of God is quick, and the word quick means living, okay? It's quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and it is a, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So the word of God is powerful. That's why it's important that we read it all the time, because of the sanctifying effect it has in our lives. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.